All right, folks, welcome to a uh, special edition here. And we are going to be talking none other than REO Speedwagon and all the big news that came down today and actually over the last few days here. Um, just want to give everybody the quick rundown on what happened here. And uh, so uh, let's start at the beginning. Uh, obviously, we all know that Bruce Hall has not been in the band now since he went out on surgery leave back in November of 2023. It was a planned procedure. And um, according to everybody that he ha should have been able to be back by now at this point, uh, his plan was to be back at the start of the tour that was going on with Train, Ario Speedwagon, Yacht Rock Review. And uh, sadly, they would not allow him to come back. They felt he just wasn't ready, although he was cleared by doctors and everybody else, including himself and his family. Uh, so, obviously, we knew something was going to happen here because, you know, you just don't keep a guy off the road, you know, who can actually work, you know. I mean, <laughs> this is Bruce Hall. He's been doing this for such a long time. So, if we go back, um, there was a post two days ago from KC, Kevin Cronin, that REO Speedwagon's Facebook page posted about the summer tour. And uh, obviously, some of you might not be aware, the last two dates of the tour had to be next. Uh, there's been a lot of problems with Kevin's vocals, and I guess he wasn't feeling well. And um, just reading between, it's a long, lengthy note. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but I'm just going to touch on a few of the highlights here. And one of the highlights was mentioned here about Pat Monahan. He did a emotional shout out to the band and they uh, and to Kevin. Um, they actually opened their show with Keep On Loving You. So that just goes to show you the connection between the two bands and him and Pat and everything, which is totally understandable. Those they, those guys got, got along great, and they really enjoy touring together. There's no doubt about that. You could see that. Um, you know, so sa sadly, though, throughout the tour, there's been issues with Kevin's voice, unfortunately. And uh, I saw him in uh, Erie, Pennsylvania, and in like 10 days Later, I saw I uh, was supposed to see him in uh, Syracuse. And what happened was uh, the show before Ariel missed because of the Kevin couldn't sing. His voice was that gone, but he had recovered enough where he did make the Syracuse show. Uh, but he wasn't 100 percent, which, you know, you're not going to get rid of a vocal issue that quickly when you're out on the road trying your best. And he did a very modest job of you know, doing what he could. And they cut the song short by about three songs, the set list that night. And they kept that going for about 10 days. They just kept the set list short, hope, hoping that that would help Kevin get through the shows. The band still was able to perform and uh, they figured eventually he'll be speak, um, you know, his old self again. And he was, uh, the tour pretty much rolled along there and um, it finally came to an end. Uh, but the last two dates of the tour, um chula vista california and uh, arizona phoenix it looks like were the two dates that they couldn't play because of the uh i guess he had another setback unable to perform he fell ill and um the interesting thing here that i don't know if anybody's mentioned was as he's writing this note about you know pat monahan opening the show with keep on loving you he mentions that his uh, hospital bed inbox um was getting flooded <laughs> so i'm thinking wow i didn't hear anything about him being in the hospital so obviously that that's the case so he at the end of the uh message after he thanks everybody you know for all, all their positive messages of love and healing uh oh okay so he had a recent emergency surgery that was a complete success and he's on the mend okay so yeah i didn't read that part in the email initially the the memo that was posted here so not quite sure what that was all about, but that would explain why he's in the hospital. So um, he says, while I'm laying here tethered to various beeping machines, it makes a guy think. I have had plenty of free time this past week to appreciate the love in the eyes of my wife and kids as they have gathered around me here every single day. I have so much more life to live and have re-examined what I want to do with the rest of my time here and who I want to be surrounded by while I do it. I need to be lifted by those around me and in return to lift them. I feel excited at the prospect of creating and playing the best music I have in me with the best artists, musicians, and people who will have me. 
and I promise to continue giving my best and appreciating the gift of music, which has allowed me to allowed me this life. Your un unwavering support means the world to me, KC. So that's what we get two days ago. And today we get the following from REO Speedwagon to our fans. Bruce had intended, has intended, should have been had intended to be back on the road again by now. Uh, if it were up to just him, he'd be back on tour. But it's not up to just him. The consensus, consensus opinion was that he had not recovered sufficiently to be able to perform at the level fans have come to expect. Bruce respected that opinion and is grateful that Matt Bissonette had been around to keep the wagon rolling through the summer tour. Bruce never had any intention of retiring or walking away from the band, the fans, and the crew he has loved for almost 50 years. All right, and that's what mentions on that part. The next sentence, for Kevin's part, he too has never had any intention of leaving the band and the fans, and the crew meant the world to him as well. And it ends on this, and this is where we stand right now. Due to this complex situation, irreconcilable differences arose between Kevin and Bruce. So it is with great sadness that we announce Ario Speedwagon will cease touring effective January 1st, 2025. Neil, Kevin, Bruce, thank their fans for all their years of loyal support and for giving back to the band such wonderful memories that will remain with each of them forever. So, read between the lines, take it with what which, which you want. Sounds like to me, obviously, there's no KC after that memo. So, and there wasn't much of a mention of Kevin's part. So, personally, that to, for me, that's saying that that's coming from Neil, who obviously, even though he retired from the road, he still probably, probably owns the name of the band and is the main head honcho in charge and was letting everybody tour off the name, you know. Um, that so that's what the way I'm looking at it. Um, it sounds like something that Neil would say, and he just, uh, you know, I guess because of the fact that Bruce and Kevin came up with these irreconcilable differences, uh, he decided, well, maybe we just need to pull the plug and move on from there. So there's been no official statement from Kevin at this point, sadly, no, no announcement of, you know, what's going on here. Um, but Bruce Hall, of course, uh, did come up with a short memo on his part. And here's what he responded with. Hey, everyone, never, ever thought it would end like this. And I'm heartbroken. Please know Neil and I did everything in our power to try and keep the wagon rolling. I am so appreciative of all the amazing love and support. You guys have been very vocal and clear in your wishes for me to return to the stage Trust me, that's all I wanted to. We all deserved a farewell tour. For the record, I wanted Ario Speedwagon to continue to tour with the lineup of Kevin, myself, Dave, Brian, and Derek, just as it was prior to my necessary plan and successful back surgery. I love and will miss you all, Bruce. So, um, you know, there you have it. There's what's going on in the Ario Speedwagon camp. More to come, I'm sure. I'm sure this is just the beginning. Um, you know, the way Bruce noted down that Neil and him did everything in their power to keep the wagon rolling, um, you know, it, there's a lot of bad blood there, obviously, between Kevin and Bruce, unfortunately, uh, whoever thought it would ever came down to that, because these guys have been with each other, you know, they knew each other even before Bruce joined in 1978, so, uh, for everything to kind of transpire the way that it did, uh, I'm not quite sure what's going on. I mean, I know that uh, Bruce was one of Bruce's daughters posted a way, ways back about the whole thing, and it was a pretty ugly. Uh, that you knew something big was going to happen eventually out of it, just because of the fact that uh, kind of airing some of the things out in the open in the public eye, not not Bruce per se, but his his uh, daughter did so. Um, you know, it's just something you just never expected a band to kind of end on this note. And sadly, um, that's what it appears like it's going to happen, at least so far. You know, if we get any new, more news, we'll update it from there. Um, 
But for as of right now, the way it's reading across the board that Ario Speedwagon will no longer uh, tour as the name brand, whether Kevin goes on and does solo shows under his own name uh, remains to be seen. Um, you know, same with Bruce. Who knows? Who knows what these guys are going to do? I mean, but as of right now, it looks like Ario Speedwagon is done. And, um, you know, it's a shame when you when you see how long these guys have been together. You know, obviously, uh, neither one of these guys, the only original member that still is even mentioned in this whole post is Neil, who started the band way back when with different members. Kevin came in a little later on. He was not even the first singer on, you know, the first album. Um, but he came and left a few times. And, uh, you know, Bruce came in to take over from mr philbin many many years ago there and he had he never left you know he um you know was a trooper probably one of my favorite people to ever interview honest uh you know he didn't beat around the bush he answered any question we asked him and uh just a great guy and uh you know it's, it's just sad when you see good people you know uh done wrong basically you know this is definitely something that nobody ever expected a wave the way this band was going to end here. Uh, now they do have a few dates uh, left on the calendar as we speak at the moment. Um, now whether those shows are going to happen now with Kevin's, because uh, they did say twenty uh, January first, twenty twenty five, they will no longer uh, start touring anymore. So whether or not they're going to, they have some dates still listed on their website with Loverboy. They're doing a kind of. A, small midwestern tour and um so i'm not quite sure you know what's going to happen with those dates uh, if they're still going to go on i mean the way that it sounds it looks like it should be going on still because they haven't came right out and canceled anything as far as that's concerned um let's see so So there's like 19 dates still to go on the on the uh, books here with for the band that are already booked. Um, the majority of those are with Loverboy. There's a couple of uh, Las Vegas dates where they're doing an evening of high infidelity. It actually looks like about three of them in uh, early October. They're supposed to be back on the road on September 27th, a show at uh, Rancho Mirage, California, at a casino. And they got another casino the night after in Coors Gold. California. So, yep, so it doesn't look good right now. Uh, these are, if you want to catch the band, um, at least as it is, you know, which is Kevin, Dave, Brian, and uh, Phil and bass player and a keyboardist um, who took over for Neil, he's still there. Then, you know, you want to catch him in November here or these last few remaining dates because this is all you're going to have a chance to do at this point, it looks like. And, um, you know, feel free to leave your comment and your take, um, you know, when you got into REO Speedwagon, uh, you know, your take on the whole process here. This is definitely something that, um, you know, I had a feeling something was going to happen. I just didn't know it was going to happen like this. And, uh, you know, sadly, that's that's where we stand right now. So um, signing off on another episode of the REO Speedwagon Saga.